Namashivai children. Today we will do class 6 Civics chapter number 6 Rural Administration. In the previous class we come to know about a quarrel in the village and the area of the police station and the work at the police station. Today we will come to know about the maintenance of land records. Now children, in the previous story you saw that Mohan and Raghu were arguing heatedly whether the common boundary of the fields had been shifted. Isn't there a way by which they could have settled this dispute in a peaceful manner? Are there records that show who owns what land in the village? Let's find out how this is done. Now measuring land and keeping land records is the main work of the Patwari. The Patwari is known by different names in different states. In some villages, such officers are called Lekpal. In others, Kanungu or Karam, Karamchari or village officer, etc. We will refer to this officer as Patwari. Each Patwari is responsible for a group of villages. The Patwari maintains and updates the records of the village. The map and the corresponding details from the register on the next page are a small part of the records that kept by the Patwari that you see in your book, page number 52. Now, the Patwari usually has ways of measuring agricultural fields. In some places, a long chain is used. In the above instance, the Patwari would have measured both Mohan's and Raghu's field and compared them with the measurements on the map. If they did not match then, it would be clear that the boundary of the fields has been changed. Now, the Patwari is also responsible for organizing the collection of land revenue from the farmers and providing information to the government about the crops grown in this area. This is done from the records that are kept and this is why it's important for the Patwari to regularly update this. Farmers may change the crops grown on their fields or someone may dig a well somewhere. And keeping track of all this is the work of the revenue de uh, department of the government. Senior people in this department supervise the Patwari's work. All states in India are divided into districts. For managing matters relating to land, these districts are further subdivided. These subdivisions of the district are known as different names such as Tehsil, Taluka, etc. At the head is the district collector and under her are the revenue officers, also known as Thaisildars. They have to hear disputes. They also supervise the work of the Patwaris and ensure that records are properly kept and land revenue is collected. They make sure that the farmers can easily obtain a copy of their record Students can obtain their caste certificates, etc. 
the tehsildar's office is where land disputes are also heard now i want to say something about the this land records almost everyone living in a village depends on land for their survival as it always is when something becomes very important conflicts are bound to arise hence it becomes very important to maintain records of the selling and buying of lands and the collection of the revenue from them now the district is supervised by the district commissioner or the district collector it is divided into subdivisions which are headed by subdivisional magistrates that is sdm each subdivision is further divided into tahsil or talukas which are supervised by the tahsildars or the talukdars each tahsil or taluka is then divided into parganas which are headed by kanungos finally each pargana has various villages under it which are headed by patwaris the land record officers or the land record keeper all disputes related to land are handled by the sarpanch along with the patwari in many villages the patwari is also known as lokpal or a karmachari the patwari plays a very important role in maintaining land records now i will mention the points the main duties of the patwari now firstly to maintain a record of which piece of land has provides which crop and in what quantity secondly to maintain a record of ownership of each plot of land who is selling to whom is it sold who will inherit etc thirdly to keep an up to date measurement of land and ensure that revenue equivalent to the size of the land is generated then fourthly to add whatever aid in revenue collection to report any foreseen calamity or problem regarding land or the animals working on the lands then sixthly to maintain all the records in hard copy in forms of maps reports etc now it is very important for the patwari to maintain a hard copy of all the records in the form of maps reports etc because sometimes production enhancement methods are added without the knowledge of the patwari so if he or she has all his her records in place then he or she can easily collect the old and the new and see if everything is in place <coughs> these records also help in resolving disputes between two or more parties one such very important record document is the khasra every plot in the village is given a khasra number it is the duty of the patwari to visit each plot thrice a year in october february and april the patwari needs to visit to record the number and names of the crops grown to note the quantity the quality the cultivation 
capacity of each plot, etc. The document that has all these record is called the Khasra. Today, I am ending here. Next day, we will discuss about the new inheritance law. Namaskar Shivaya.